In this video, I'm going to show you creating and not creating folders in Reaper. So the project set up here with some drums, bass, a couple of guitars, and a vocal. I want to create a folder for the drums. So I can put all the drums in that folder and control it from that track. Now, previously to Reaper 6.80, we had a few different options. Let's start by creating a new track, go to the track menu, insert new track, or use the keyboard shortcut right here. Control T on the PC or Command T on the Mac. And that creates a new track. We'll put it at the top. Now, to make this track a drum folder, we can go over here to the lower left corner, see what changes to a plus sign. And if we hit it, this track is now a folder for everything below it. But to just make this a drum folder, we go down here to the last track of the drums and hit this twice. Once to push it in and another to push it out. So now this track is a folder for our drums. So if we mute it, it mutes all the drums. And all the audio from these tracks is going through this track. So we can add effects to this track to compress or EQ all the drums as a group. But there's a quicker way to do this. Let's remove it from the folder. What we could also do is drag the tracks to this track. So if we select all our drum tracks and drag it up like this, if we bring it up so the left side indents a bit and let go, it put our drum tracks into this drum folder. Let's do it again. We can select all the drums, drag it up. And if we drag it too high up here, it just changes the order of our tracks. We don't want to do that. So instead of dragging it all the way up here, we go right to about here. And right here doesn't do anything, but a bit higher, indents it, and makes this track a folder with these tracks in it as child tracks for this track folder. But there's one problem with doing it this way. Let's delete this track. Let's say I wanted to move the bass track onto the snare track like this. I can just drag it right to here. And if I keep it right in the middle and let go, it moves the bass between the snare and overheads. But sometimes if you're not careful, we bring it up a bit too high like this and let go. And now it became a folder. Our snare track is now a folder with the bass within it. And we didn't want that. So again, I did this by accident. By dragging it to exactly the middle, it just changes the order. But if I drag it a bit too high like this, to the left side indents and let go. And now we created a folder, but we didn't want to. So if you're like me and you like to work really quick, this can happen quite often. So what I prefer to do is use the feature that's been added to Reaper 6.80. Let's go to the options menu and go down here to our preferences. Then we'll scroll down under appearance to track control panel. And right over here is the option that's been added. When reordering tracks via drag and drop, hold the shift key to control folder creation. And this is off by default, but we could turn it on right here. And now if we move our tracks, let's move the base up here. No matter where we drop it, it's only gonna move our tracks. Let's put our drums below the base right here. If I go up or down, it doesn't indent on the left. So if we let go, it just changed the order of our tracks. Let's put it back above the base. No matter how we move with drag and drop, it's only gonna move the order of our tracks. We'll never get an indent on the left side over here. But if we hold the shift key, we get the opposite behavior. We'll only get folder creation and not moving our tracks. So let's create a new track. We'll put it on the top. Let's say we wanted to create a drum folder with this track. We could just select all the drums, hold down shift and drag it up. 
And notice it indents. No matter where we bring it, it's always indented just a bit to the right, letting us know we're going to create a folder. So if we drop it right here, all our drums are now in this folder track. Let's do it again. Just select our drums, hold down shift. But notice there was a slight problem. By holding down shift, we unselected the other tracks. So what we should do instead is start from the top, hold shift, keep holding shift, and drag it up from the bottom. And now it's going to create a folder. Or we could start from the bottom, hold down shift, keep holding shift, and drag it up. And that also creates a folder. Or we could start from the top, hold down shift to select, and drag these to change their order. But before we drop it, hold down the shift key again. And now we're just going to create a folder. So if we bring it down here, it'll create a folder down here, like this. We'll drag it up, hold shift, and we see it indents to the right, letting us know we're going to create a folder if we let go. Let go of the shift key, and it doesn't. We're just changing the order of our tracks, like this. But if we want to create a folder, just hold the shift key and drag it up. Let go of the shift key. We'll hold it again to create that folder. And now this track is a drum folder for all our drum child tracks. Do it again. Hold shift, drag it up, let go. Now this track is a drum folder for all our drum tracks. I personally prefer to work this way, where we can change the order by not holding down the shift key. Just put the bass up here or down here without the fear of accidentally creating a folder. But if you want a folder, just select all those tracks, hold the shift key, and drag it to the track we want to be our folder. And let go. Now this track is a folder for our drums. And we could layer it as well. Let's say we wanted another folder for our drums and our bass. Create a new track. We'll put it at the top. Select this track and this track. Drag it up and then hold the shift key. Let go. And now this track is a folder for all our drums and bass. While this track is just a folder for the drums. So we can create folders within folders. But again, if we just want to change the order of our tracks, don't hold down the shift key. Drag this one up here or down here, and it doesn't create a folder. And if we want a folder, create a new track, put it above, select these tracks by holding shift, continue to hold shift, and drag it up and drop it right here. And it's always going to create a folder no matter what. Or if we just want to change the order, don't hold shift, and just move our tracks around as we need. But again, this preference is off by default. So we're not going to get this behavior unless we turn this on. We'll still get the old behavior where if we select these tracks, we have to drag it in exactly the right spot. Otherwise, if we move our tracks, we might accidentally create a folder when we don't want. So by turning on this option, we could choose folders or just moving our tracks with drag and drop a lot easier just by holding the shift key or not holding the shift key when we move our tracks. So that's pretty much it. That's creating and not creating folders in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.